Okay, so get, 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 get. Okay, so what git does is it will, um, it's a VCS for you, and but it's a VCS for your code, and there are a bunch of different ways to like interact with your git. I really like, by the way, that's git, G-I-T, if you weren't thinking, <laughs> I don't know, that's a weird word, but uh, git, there are a bunch of ways to work with git, but my favorite way is through the command line, and I think that's the most, like, I don't know, industry standard, like, air quotes, air quotes, that's not an air quote anymore since I typed it, um, uh, so there are a bunch of different ways to work with git, I like the command line the most, so I'm going to teach you the command line right here, but, I mean, there are a bunch of, you could use a desktop app, you could use a GUI, like I talked about before, graphical user interface, but I prefer the command line. So, um, to get started with git, well, uh, there are a couple different commands that you can learn. And you know what, I'll just make a new directory here and call it git, uh, like, let's uh, learn git. Um, <laughs> so here's the directory right here. I'm um, going to copy the directory, cd. Now I'm in that directory. You can see I'm in that directory, I promise. <laughs> I'm learning git. I'm going to touch... So that makes a file, touch um, git file. Oh shoot, that was really bad. rm git. You need to add an extension to your file. Uh, <laughs> so it's gonna up and then do dot text. Okay, now I have a git file. Um, let's say touch, um, File has been touched. Ah, shoot, that was so bad. <laughs> uh, touch file has been touched. Dot txt. Okay, so now you have two files here. You know, just for kicks, nano. Um, git file. Remember that tab shortcut. So now I'm in Nano, I'm gonna add some text. Uh, what do I wanna say? Uh, nano is way better than VI. Uh, enough said. Oops. Control O, enter, Control X. Um, <laughs> by the way, the Nano VI thing, look that up. It's Nano Emacs, uh, people get crazy over text editors. Um, anyway, now I have a folder. Okay, now you're going to have to download, in order to do this, you're going to have to download, go to download GitHub, and it's going to be this weird desktop.github.com, download it, it's going to give you this desktop app. Close the desktop app immediately because you're never going to use it if you don't want to. Um, I'm not going to be messing around with that right now. Download that. It'll help you install some of these Git commands that I'm about to use. And so then uh, you will be able to access Git through the command line, um, change your files, and all that. Okay, so I'm assuming you have Git installed. Now what I'm going to do, come back to this PWD. I'm in let's learn git. Um, so the first thing you want to do is you want to initialize the folder as a git repository. And you know what, first thing actually I'm going to do is I'm going to say ls dash a. Okay, and that's going to show me my hidden files. Now, right now I don't really have any hidden files. I have this dot, which stands for this directory, and dot dot, which stands for the directory above. Remember you showed that before, with like cd dot dot takes you the directory above. Um, and basically, if a file starts with a dot, then it's a hidden file. So if I just do regular ls, then you're only going to see these two files, not these two hidden files. But I could also, I mean, I could also do like touch. Uh, also notice that you don't see the hidden file on the finder window. But I could go touch dot hidden file dot text. Now I added it, but you don't see it in there. It's a hidden file. So ls, you don't see it, but ls dash a. Ooh, now you do see it. Tricky. So, um, 
that's something to keep in mind. A lot of the times you don't even realize files are there because they have a dot in front of them, um, and that's so that your computer can protect you from yourself because you don't want your hidden files to be out there unless you really know what you're doing. I'm not definitely not at that point. <laughs> I don't know if you ever get to that point. Definitely I'm not at that point though. But um, anyway, 